Hey guys, and welcome to Mommy and Daughter Shop. I'm here with my mom. Wave, mommy. <laughs> this is my mom, Terry. My name is Shelly. You'll see we're back on Shelly Wilson's YouTube channel. And this is my niece, Catherine. Catherine, say hi. Wave. Wave. So we decided to kick it back up again. Usually you see I only post stuff for music and for my body care line. But I decided we've seen me and my mom have been into watching all of this stuff with everybody doing the house cleaning and all the buying and what they go to the store and their savings. Me and my mom have a thing for farmers markets. And I'm not talking about Whole Foods. I'm not talking about Sprouts. I am not talking about the nice little sales you can get at Kroger and Publix. We have a thing for going to farmers markets. We've dedicated at least two months or twice a month, mom, isn't it? Twice a month or something. We do usually to go to farmers markets. So today we are going to kick off being back on YouTube, saying hello at one of our favorite uh, farmers markets right now for Atlanta area which is Buford Farmer's Market. So, here, let's just do a little spraying here. Over here, potatoes. We're in produce land right now. Produce land right now. Here, Mom, come, let's walk around. My mommy's turning. This market receives, <laughs> as you hear my niece says, she's gonna tell you everything that we're passing at the same time. But this, this market is known for how much produce they receive not just in a week, um, but monthly. So if we want to, for it, hush for a second, baby. For what we want to say for what they receive on a regular weekly, they receive at least 40 to 45 deliveries of new produce, seafood, fresh herbs. Um, it's like a beautiful land in here. Always, I am happy, I come to paradise. Uh, but me, when it comes to my body care line now, as what I just said, I love to stop right over here, okay? Because if there are not herbs or things I can find in my back yard growing for me, and the prices are not hysterically ridiculous, I will come right over here and get my sage for my sage citrus, my rosemary for my rose lemon, sowed thyme, Meyer lemon, key limes, everything is a beautiful thing and every type of cucumber that we can find. And what is this over here, Catherine? Tell them, what was this? We just cucumber! Cucumber, yes. We just watched, I'll flip it. We just watched Iron Chef America. We've been watching Iron Chef America, haven't we? We've been watching the man with the crazy arm. What does he say when he waves his arm? Let the bell begin! Yes, that's it. We have been, we have been crazy with watching Iron Chef America, but as to the rest, go over here to bananas, maduras. Can we watch uh, that when we milk, get everything. home? It's just like beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we can watch it when we get home, look. Um, it's just the selection and fresh produce that is brought in here every day is beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, but if I know my mother like I do, um, but as I said, beautiful. And a lot of it is also wholesale, family companies, any of the other things that are organic and thing in here. Um, it's usually from family owned business, family. Um, nice thing that you have in the middle, super high base, sweet honey, everything that is usually to family owned uh, um, businesses uh, that they've given to the area. Catherine, you gotta stop singing while we're talking. Okay, and we found Grandma. I thought she had already gotten to our other favorite place, or this place yet. Um, but my mom and I usually we come to farmers markets or sometimes some wholesale clubs, but I mean, at least twice a month, we try to make it to our uh, farmer's markets to stock up our pantry on uh, the necessities. And Buford is one of the markets we like coming to because produce is brought in on a regular. It is kept fresh. Um, it is, everything is, is stored. Everything is stocked. Everything is vacuum sealed. Everything is kept and can be kept <laughs> for quite some time the way me and my mother package and store our food. Uh, so it's great. Then come to our other little Onion. nice dwelling place. What, what's the name of that one? Onion. Onion, yes. Well, can we go show them the, the spice, spice dominion? Can we go show them our spice area? Come on, Captain, let's go show them where the spices are. Let's not get run over in the process. 
Come on, it's over here. Come on. Let's get to the spice. Mm -hmm. Come on, walk. I see it. Do you see it? Uh oh. Here you go. Get to the world of spices. This way. There it is. Yes. So this is another one of my favorite spots in the store, y'all. Um, because it is just beautiful rain. Um, seasonings and season blends that are just so great. Tell you all of what is in it. Handmade seasonings that they've made here at the store with those fresh herbs and everything that you saw that I showed from the other side. So it's just very nice, very nice selection. And then the amount, the amount that is given, right? It is wonderful. Me and my mom kind of go to town in here and they'll let you even buy these big size boxes which are 24, seven ounce of chicory seasoning. And then there's this nice blue sign here that has all of what they have and you can put in special order, you know. Sometimes for me, because I like to bake as well, I'll get these fresh cinnamon sticks. Um, then they have uh, Parmesan cheese powder, fresh coriander. I mean, you can just go for days. Cumin, what they have out here today. Fresh ground curry powder, the dill, fajita seasoning, garlic salt, granulated garlic. Fennel seed, jalapeno pepper. This is just the first row, though. <laughs> As I'm showing y'all. Come on, get up on here, baby. If you also see I'm rolling, I'm not walking. I'm, I'm in current recovery of having broken my right ankle. So we are in one of these like rollable buggies. And here my mom comes with her onion loot. I want to walk. So it's also this area. They call it the little world of spices area. And sometimes for the amount that we get, me and my mom will stock up on these. Mom, they have that, um, the celery salt in the nine ounce on the other side. Nine ounce this time. And, um, my mom, as I said, my mom and I usually have, you know, go to our pumas on our own when we are making our own spices. As I said, my family's lineage is Native American. So for those of you who are still learning about my me and my mom's company with the body care line and our soaps and everything. Um, that is what we do with that. So it's not just about our food. It's about getting fresh herbs or if you're getting dry herbs, herbs that have been dried correctly um, so that it might be used not just for food but for our medicinal when it comes to dermatology, uh, dermatology and the cold and flu uh, that um, our Native American uh, family uh, lives on uh, so it's a big thing when you find stores when you find farmers markets when you find actual live farms and everything like that that actually carry the things that have supported your family uh, health wise for such a long time so it's been great my mom but she found she getting her yep I knew it cinnamon see I saw cinnamon sticks y'all y'all heard her here first the daughter was right knew she was gonna get cinnamon knew it knew it knew it knew it okay all right, so I'm ready to get to the next happy place. I thought mom would have beat us there yet. And of course you still have a little area where you get all the snacks and everything, which is always nice. Um, they have the bakery right back here. Handmade bread right back here in the bakery's area. And this today is what mom, this today's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is one of the biggest days for, for delivery and baking for everything um so we've gotten here it's what time this is where it's about 12 30 uh so we've already missed the more the morning push we've already missed the morning push so a lot of this as you've seen from the bakery has already been attacked here excuse us i'm sorry it's all right um Sorry. And uh, so a lot in the bakery is already gone. <laughs> That's what I'm showing. You see, it's already been attacked pretty good. But um, we're coming into my favorite area, which is meat and seafood. Now, when I tell you the amount and the gift of how well these butcher, 
go walk because you're 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 talking talking through the video we're trying to make you want to walk with grandma go walk with grandma that's fine so i'm sorry y'all you know the little ones um so now we are over here in our our good area another area that me and my mom like of the store which is um our meat and seafood um they always have very good prices for it beautiful cuts of meat as we see we go down here some pork butt shoulder nice pork belly everything and of course you would come down this aisle first <laughs> this is the first one y'all we would hit up all the time obviously all the way down to some pig feet everything me and my mom is just a little bit heartbreaking right now that's not something we can't eat too much pork no more pork is a thing of the past but i mean it's not like we don't miss it lord have mercy ain't nothing like some pig fat but <laughs> in the meantime for the other um it's always areas for chicken and as i said the restock the butcher comes out here and they're already restocking things tuesday's restock all of it's out here still over here in pig and bacon lamb ham hocks everything some more pig feet or excuse me the correct way what did we hear on iron chef what was the correct way on iron chef what did they say they didn't say pig feet what was it mommy what was it because we were hysterically laughing mommy what did the trotters yes yes they call them trotters I i'm sorry y'all america we're just was just being for real okay pig feet in my mind will forever be pig feet they are not trotters they are feet um this um, i'm just i'm just being for real it's just this <laughs> it is what it is but here we go mommy's got it mommy hold it up there you go butcher life beautiful fresh cut up chicken all right so it's it's really great it's really great in here uh you find really wonderful you don't see quarter yeah he's still putting it out yeah my mom usually gets her her, her leg quarters out of here and we just do the rest of it cutting it up up here but you see they will do it fresh and then bring out the bag or then you know if you have chicken that you have found out here they will cut it up they will go to town for you it is very nice very nice setup mom i'm going to show them the other side okay my family is not a family that eats red meat anymore that is a new change i'm missing it yeah come on baby girl it is something that i miss it's a new change due to health um, but I, I still do miss, do miss some red meat, but <laughs> we'll show you. But here, as I said, over here, you see the whole chickens. You can find a whole chicken over here that you like, and you can take it to them in the back and they will cut it up, uh, for you. Beautiful, huge chicken breasts that last you forever, forever. That's some huge chicken breasts. And my mom found her quarters bag, obviously. Come on. Let's go show them the red meat. But as I said, for my family now, red meat is not a really big part of us anymore due to health changes. We cannot do it, but um, it is uh, still the, it is beautiful in here. The, the fresh cuts that they have, um, it is very nice. Look at little girl, she is too cute. Um, it is very nice selection in here very nice selection that they have in here everything looks good even down to the oxtail into the oxtail so i mean i would by all means i would say come <laughs> i would say come check out a beaver farmer's market um it's always good to in best time in looking into not just your whole foods and sprouts see what farmer's markets see what um actual farms i mean and that's what me and my mom my family does all the time i mean with me growing up my mom and as i said with our our lineage and we were always about going back to people who uh are places that dealt with mother earth Catherine, go to grandma grandma's trying to grab your hand we were all amazed about going back to the farms going to you know out of the city into into the state uh to you know find some some um farms to go and get apples farms to go and get um some greens and some corn and everything like that when we lived in dc virginia area mom would take us back to reservation area you know to always get food from mother earth you know before 
you know, wanting to live forever going into a grocery store. Grocery store was always last necessity. Uh, she would always go to, or she still does, look at her grandma and grandma and granddaughter moment <laughs> um, of going to a, a farmer's market and teaching us how to deal with certain types of, of, of food, dealing with certain type of foods and teaching us how to, you know, cook the real stuff and not what's in the can. I think that's what I heard my grandmother saying all that stuff. Learn to cook the real stuff first. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that was including meat. That was including seafood. That was including uh, learning how to break down a spice. Create a spice blend. And also when it came down to herbs and herbal remedies that my family and my mother and everybody grew up with. You know, learning how to make those and do those properly. Because that was, that, that was some work. That was some work get the seasoning right no that seasoning is not right some of y'all know what i'm talking about but then also as i said when it came to the herbal remedies when it talks you know when it came to my family using herbs as medicinally you understand that was a whole nother level if you know mom would not even discuss that take that to us if you know you know grandmother not at all okay let's put it this way my grandmother has already ascended she passed away in 2012 that book was just left to me that was not even something with um she even took to, to taking uh practice with me in you know what i'm saying it's like you know not only um you know what's this you know i said maybe my attention span or maybe just the the thing of you know all of what i was still learning just with spices and blends and learning how to take care of an herb when it came to cooking i'm telling you uh creek creek indian and all of the the work that there is for their care and the care you should have for the spice and herb and mother earth produce and everything like that if you do not have it under control you do not have it under control you just don't um so i think as I, as I say that i think that obviously was what my grandmother must have been thinking at the time because i ended up having to deal with that on my own um but um my mom helped me through the, the cooking part but you know and taking care of herb and everything like that but I actually had to do some serious intake on the other ooh what did you get what'd you get ah oh, look some Boz Mighty Rice ooh madams yes there we go alright so we found some really good stuff alright so mama you gonna go to your favorite place come on all right, y'all, so I think for a good first video, this is doing good, but as I said, my mom, our family is Native American, but we're also from the North, so my mom is all about the seafood. So Tuesday, also at Blue Farmer's Market, is their um, delivery of... <laughs> ah, no, of course you would point out what I don't like. Oh, my mother. Anyway, but Tuesday, Buford Farmer's Market has uh, their seafood delivery, but my mom is pointing out the king prawns with the heads on it, freshwater prawns. I, I just, I can't deal with them. I will eat myself some blue crabs. I will eat some lobster. I will eat some fish. I will eat some scallops. I will eat oysters and clams all the days of my life and be married, but... I don't know. I think the one time we went, I don't remember where me and my mom went and had some king prawns. And I was just, ugh, nasty. What you got? They got some perch over there. My mom is my mom is big on perch. Um, what we grew up, as I said. Creek Indians, waters, Virginia waters. You got perch, croaker. What's another one? Do I want fried fish? I will have fried fish any day, mother. What was the other fish, mommy, that you usually uh, that we usually got in Virginia when we went to the farm? Uh oh, Catherine, come on, come on. Don't start acting foolish in the store. You got to stay still, behave yourself. Anyway, it's causing calamity. But as I said, showing you like here in Brief and Farmer's Market, you come back here and find whatever the, the fish or the seafood that you want, right? 
then you just get the sticker and have somebody call your ticket number and then you tell them how you want your fish taken care of. And you see you have these eight selections of how you can take care of your fish. And then you leave with your seafood and the seafood has two, two rows over here. And then I'm standing in two rows all the way over here, right? And shrimp over there where I showed you, that table over there where I showed you, everything like that. And that area over there in the corner is where I want to go. That's where I want to go because I believe that is where crab heaven dwells. That's where I think it is. Mom, I'm going to go see about my, my four-legged friends. Come on. Let's go see America. Let's go see. Come on. Let's go see my friends. Let's go see YouTube family. If they're over there, I'm going to be the happiest person in the world. Oh, that means because I'm going to have a very, very, very good lunch next. And knowing me and my mama, we will kill it all in five seconds. All right, so I see one thing. I see some crawfish. I see some crawfish. But that's not what I want. Do you see crabs? I see it. Do you see crabs? Oh, yes! 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 I think those are alive. Yeah, we gotta check if they're alive, right? That's what we do. Say so yes, we gotta check that they're alive. But yes, my friends. Some crawfish. And some crabs. They're alive! Ah. <laughs> well, they're not gonna do anything to you. They're not gonna do anything to you. They're not gonna do anything to you. I love they pinch us. See, and we're back. See? And we're back here. And he's cleaning fish. We got our crabs. All it is just so great here at Buford Farmers Market. It is wonderful. You just see the stuff taken care of fresh. And it's so wonderful. Why are you getting worried? Why are you getting worried about it? My little my little girl, she's my, my little niece here, she Hey, why are you getting all worried about it? She she's got she's a little they'll pinch us. They're not gonna pinch us. But some of them are alive. Well, they, they have to be alive, honey. That's called fresh. fresh seafood is what you want. You want them to be alive first when you get them. Mom, we got some good kickers. They got some crayfish too. Are we, are we being blessed with both? I'm, I'm, look, look, look at my mommy. Look at my mommy. Mommy waves. She's smiling. You see, Grandma? She's smiling through that mask. Look at America. Look at you two friends. My mommy is so happy. She can't move fast enough. Yes, Catherine laughing. Catherine, say seafood. Seafood. Say seafood. Seafood. Yes, seafood. Grandma happy. Grandma happy. I hope that. Yeah, you hold the ticket. Do not let it go. Hold our ticket. Oh, it's very little. Yeah, it's very little. All right, America. I will be back next time. And I will let you know how we did with our seafood and what all we got today. Record that when we get home. Hope you all enjoyed a little piece of what Buford Farmer's Market is like. Both produce, seafood, and spices, and meat. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Do you remember? Everybody sins with sayings and blessings and all the rest of that stuff. So I will live. May the Lord show his mercy upon you. May the Lord continue to fill you with his grace. May you love and serve him all the days that in heaven you may see his face. All right, you all continue to know that you are enough. Continue to know that you serve an awesome God who will never leave you or forsake you. All right, y'all be blessed. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.
My mom is saying bye bye in spirit because she is getting her seafood right now and she is all about it. <laughs> we'll let you know and show you what we got from the store. Bye bye.